The surface fill tool is much like its voxel or volume counterpart. However, it actually operates a little better than you would expect from the volume tool. Uh, sometimes the volume tool doesn't uh, fill in as much as it should. Now let's uh, let's look at this area here. Now let's say I don't want this detail. It's a relatively small area that looks like we could probably use the uh, surface fill tool. So let's go in and uh, scale our brush size accordingly and just start filling that in. Now your brush intensity does affect um, how much is filled in or the rate at which it fills. So let's turn up a little higher and it, you can't really tell it's kind of already filled up as much as it can be. And um, maybe a tiny bit more it could go. But you can see that we've essentially filled in that area there. And um, let's find another one. Let's see, this area here, a little larger than the, the previous one. And uh, you can fill in those kind of areas too. And uh, there you have it. A little quick demo there on that. And if we scale our brush down, we won't affect the surrounding areas as much. Right. And um, yeah, so we've done, you know, one small area, one mediocre sized area. What about something like this? This large area down here. What if we want to fill that in? Well, it doesn't quite work on that kind of stuff because uh, that's uh, it's a large void. That kind of area just can't be uh, filled in. You'd be better served by using the surface clay tool, rapid brush, or even the gum brush. Um, filling in areas with uh, a little more volume, if you will, instead of trying to fill it with the fill tool. The fill tool is more for smaller areas.